Hi there guys, my name's Jacob and welcome back to the channel. Now if you've been watching recently, you will know that I've recently moved house. And even though this house is over 70 years old, the loft, strangely enough, has never been boarded. So that has made it onto the list of my priorities to get sorted. Firstly, I'm going to show you the loft before it gets boarded, just what it looks like now. Then we're going to cut to the loft post work where it has been boarded. And after that, I'm then going to run you through the costs of exactly how much it has cost me to get this loft boarded. Now, just a few little details. I have chosen a local company called Instaloft um, to have the loft boarded by. Uh, local company, they come recommended and they were fairly competitive. Um, I did get a few quotes from other companies and all in all, I was happy with what Instaloft quoted. I've got to say it was more expensive than I was hoping. So a little disappointed with that. Like, but I guess with everything these days, everything just costs so much money these days. Everything you think is going to be just a cheap job or, you know, just a small job. It just ends up being a bigger job and more expensive job. It's just typical lately. But without any more faff, let's cut to the loft pre-work. So here we are upstairs and you can see this is the existing loft hatch. Now it's pretty small, you can't actually get that much up there. So as part of the works, I will be having that extended to pretty much uh, where the light comes to. So the light will have to be moved down somewhere and the loft hatch will be extended. Right, let's just have a look up the loft. Right then, so I'm in the loft. And as you can see, it is a complete state. Um, they have surveyed it and moved all the insulation around, so that all needs putting back as it was. But basically, I will be having boarded what I've agreed is to have done right to the chimney breast, all the way across, and to where this beam comes across here, so it won't be going right to the edges. It'll just be coming in a rectangle, um, so down here and down here, and it'll go all the way back to where this where this beam is here, it'll go round in a rectangle and follow the beams. So the majority of the loft will be boarded, but just not all of it. It will leave some of this space down here spare. I could potentially have it boarded in the future, but for now I decided I'm just having the middle bit done. One, to keep costs down, but two, because I don't think I actually need that much loft, sp uh, you know, loft space. It is a big loft, um, and I just thought, to be honest, it was a bit unnecessary to have the whole thing done right now. Um, it was expensive enough as it was, so. But that is the loft. That is what it looks like pre-work. So we will cut to what it looks like post-work. And here we are, guys. The loft has been boarded. Now, as you can see, exactly as i hoped it would be um, a full rectangle going all the way around has been boarded and then just this bit strip all the way around has been left <clears throat> they've boarded all the way to the chimney breast right to the edge and as you can see there part of the chimney has been taken out but there you go we've had a steel ladder put in place there is a fixed ladder that comes up which I'll show you how that works in a little bit but like I said before this is what the guys have done and I have to say the two guys that came did an incredible job it has been so hot lately um, as I'm sure you're aware if you live in the UK um, and the guys worked three four hours up here just sweating away hard labor getting this done and i have to just commend them for the hours that they put in non-stop they didn't even take a break um they were fantastic so credit to the guys that came now as you can see the um there's a big gap here that is because these loft boards are installed on stilts so there is kind of like a stilt taking it from the beam upwards then there's a steel rack 
and then the boards are placed on top of that steel rack. So they do sit quite high off the actual beams. That allows insulation to be put underneath um, with an airflow gap so that it doesn't create any damp or anything like that. And uh, like I said, they have done an incredible job, a very neat job. They've relayed all the insulation. They added a little bit of extra where it was needed. So we've got a lot of insulation up here now, uh, ready for the winter, which I'm really happy about. With it being an older house, um, I was a little bit concerned that it could be colder in the winter. And I'm, to be honest, I'm sure it will be. Um, as I'm coming from a new build property, I'm sure it's going to be colder. But with the extra insulation, it takes a bit of a weight off my mind thinking, you know, I think it will be at least, at least a little bit warmer. Uh, but I'm very happy overall with how the loft has been boarded. So I'm just going to get down now. I'll show you the ladder and then we will go through the costs of ultimately what this has cost me to have done. Right then, I'm just now out of the loft and I just thought I would show you the steel ladder. And of course, the new hatch. As you can see, it is a lot bigger than the last one. The last one came roughly to about there. So you could just about get a person through it, but not a lot of anything else. They have extended this all the way to make it a really big hatch. Uh, and amazingly, the light did not have to be moved. So quite happy about that. Um, a lot less cutting out of the ceiling to do and obviously didn't need to move the light that could stay I just need to do a bit of painting and whatnot where they've marked the ceiling putting the hatch in but that's not a problem at all but really happy with like I say the new fold away ladder that folds straight into the loft and the new hatch as well right then let's talk about costs so how much did this loft cost me to get boarded well I've written the, the figures down here so let's go through them so initially, when the guy came, he did a survey of the loft. He did a drawing, mapped out exactly what I asked for. With um, It was 15 square metres of loft to be boarded, plus a ladder, plus a loft hatch. Um, and he quoted me just a flat price of £1,750. Now, straight away, I said, that's too expensive. £1,750 was way more than I had budgeted for. To be honest, I didn't want it to go over 1,500. I was hoping it'd be less than that, but 1,500 was my absolute max. So I just went back to him and said, to be honest, I've had other quotes that have come in a little bit cheaper than that. So if that's the best you can do, I'll give it a miss. Then we left it as that. About a day or so went by and I got a call back. And he came back to me and said, He'd worked things around, he'd spoke to his manager, you know, all that kind of sales jargon. And eventually we worked out a price, after we'd gone back and forwards a little bit, we worked out a price of £1,510.60. I don't know where he got that figure from, but to be honest, it was nearer the figure that I wanted, which was £1,500, just £10 over. So all in all, it seemed like that was the absolute best I could do. So I agreed to go ahead with it. So all in all, it cost me £1,510.60. Now, I paid £150 deposit a week before the work was actually uh, completed. That was just to secure the date, you know, press on, make sure everything's going ahead and I don't pull out. So £150 has come off that price, but I haven't paid in full in cash. And the reason for it is I was going to, but... Um, just as uh, a couple of days before the install was due to take place, they offered me the chance to pay for the loft, so the 1,500, pay for it over 12 months. Now, initially, I was skeptical of this and I said, to be honest, I'd rather pay cash because I don't want this to add interest and end up costing me even more. But the great thing about what they offered me was 0% for 12 months. Now, I'm happy with that. I mean, if I can space out that £1,500 uh, and just pay it monthly with no additional cost because it's 0% finance, then that works for me because I'd rather leave my available cash in a savings account, earning me interest over that period of time. So I went with the 0%. So I'll be paying, as I've already paid off £150 with the deposit, I'll be paying £113.42 per, per month for the next 12 months. 
and that will clear the remaining balance, which was about £1,360. So all in all, that is how much it's cost me, guys. Let me know whether you think that is good value or whether ultimately you think I've paid way too much. I have to say, I found it expensive. I don't know whether that's just because I find stuff like this just expensive in general. Uh, I know materials has gone up, labour costs have gone up, you know, with the cost of inflation and the cost of living crisis and all this type of thing. I understand that's pushed costs for this type of stuff way up. But I have to say it still came in more expensive than I was hoping it would. But all in all, I wanted it done. Um, I needed it done. I've got stuff waiting to put in the loft. My second bedroom needs to be cleared out. Um, and as we plan on living here for the foreseeable, this for us is a long-term house. It's not a short-term house. If it was short-term, I probably wouldn't have had it done. But as we want to live here long-term, potentially this is our forever house, then to me it seemed like a worthwhile investment. Like I said before in the video, we've had the loft re-insulated, so we've added additional insulation added plus the boarding. So for me now, that loft is done and dusted. I hope to never have to touch it again. Um, it's insulated to a very good standard. The boarding has been done to a very good standard. And to be honest, I think I've got more than enough boarding, probably a lot more than I need. So I don't see myself having to spend any more money on that loft, I hope. Um, so it, it seemed to me like a worthwhile thing to get done, which is why ultimately, even though I found it, to be honest, a little bit on the expensive side, I went with it and we've had it done. And I'm glad we've had it done because I actually think it looks great. They've done a very good job of it. And I'm really happy with the guys at Instaloft. Um, so there you have it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like, hitting the subscribe button, leave me a comment down below. And guys, I'll catch you in the next one.